In Power Tools, click Letter Library. This is where all of your email templates are stored. And you can organize your templates using categories. See? You can create a category, you can edit your categories, and you can even move a letter to a category if you wish. Let's create a new email template. Click Code Your Own. You'll need to name your letter, enter your subject line in, select the email you want the email to be from. You can also categorize your emails as well. Let's enter our name. Okay, there's my name. Let's enter the subject line. I'll use a merge code in the subject line because when I send the email to a contact or a list, I want the system to write in the contact's first name in the subject line. Let's click Next. Okay, here you can upload your images, then grab the path to the image and hard code your image path in your file. You can also create categories. Let's create a category. Okay, this is my category. Let's select it. Now let's upload our image. We'll drag our image into the drop zone. When you see the green dot next to your images, they're ready to upload. Let's click Upload Image. Okay, there's our image. Let's grab the path to the image. Now, let's go to Dreamweaver and edit our email template. Okay, let's look at the code. Okay, here's my header image. Let's change the path of the header image. Okay, we're done. Let's look at one more thing. And that's the footer information. As an ESP, we're required by the CAN-SPAM law to include opt-out information in the footer of every email. And that is this information here. You can locate this information anywhere in your email you desire. If you fail to insert this information so the system can write in the footer of your email where you want it to be, when you send your email, the system will write in that information below your email, and it may not look as good as if you'd like to. So by including the information here, you can control the CSS and make it look nice. Now we're ready to copy and paste our code into the system. Let's click Next. We'll choose HTML code. Okay, the first thing we need to do is grab our CSS code. We're only going to grab the CS code. We won't grab any tags. So let's grab our CSS code. Let's paste it in the system. Now let's grab our HTML code. We're going to grab everything between the body tags. Copy. And we're going to paste it here. We'll delete the text. Let's paste in our HTML code. And there's our email. Now let's click Save and Close. There's my newsletter.